Wednesday, August 25th. I'm Mark Lasea and it's time to get loaded. Toshiba plans to come out with 3D TVs just like everyone else, except these TVs will not require the pricey and silly active shutter glasses. The company created what they're calling an internal imaging system that sends out light rays at different angles, and this allows your brain to process a 3D image. Toshiba says you'll be able to watch from different viewing angles, which has been a problem with the current 3D TV models. The TV should be out by the end of the year. Nokia and Intel want their mobile devices to support 3D also. The company is partnering with Migo, an open source operating system, to focus on the emerging technology. Nokia's handsets could work similar to the Nintendo 3DS or introduce a new technology that can project holograms. A new version of YouTube Mobile is available worldwide. The new and faster mobile version of the site was available in the U.S. last month, but now anyone can enjoy faster streaming, playlists, and the ability to like or unlike a video and share on Facebook and Twitter. The company has also rolled out HTML5 support for browsers like Safari and an optimized version for the iPad. And Google is testing out live search on the site. This means you'll see the real-time results of any given search as you're typing and not just after you enter a search in. The feature will pull from Google's search suggestions feature, and I don't see much value in this feature other than being a huge distraction, but Google has not confirmed when or if this will go live. The Galaxy Tab will get an official unveiling on September 2nd, but until then, we're left with a new teaser. The Tab will run Android 2.2. It has a 7-inch display, video calling, swipe, and HD movie playback. The teaser also suggests that this device will use augmented reality, but we'll see what they mean in a few days. And Apple is probably coming out with new iPods soon. We don't know this for sure, but the company is hosting an event in San Francisco on September 7th, and it seems pretty likely. The big question is what other surprises that they will announce. Those are your headlines for today. I'm Mark Lasea with CNET.com, and you've just been loaded.